Hello there. This is a really short video showing you the navigation through Moodle 2 so that you can find your way in both the introducing person-centered practice and refining person-centered practice Moodle sites. <clears throat> the first thing, if you remember, we have to do is we have to go into your virtual learning environment. And you do that by going to the login box, clicking on it, selecting student, entering your username and your password, and then clicking here on login. That takes you into your home Moodle area, which will look a bit different to here. What you will have to find is your My Courses box. You'll have to open it up and you'll have to select the course you want to look at in Moodle, which in this case is Introducing Person-Centered Practice. Now what I'm going to do at this junction is come out of this thing, which is a PowerPoint, and go on to Moodle. So just bear with me while I eject that, bring Moodle up. So this is something like the screen you're going to see when you've entered your Introducing Person-Centered Practice Moodle area. Remember from our previous video, and all the videos will be lodged up here, that these are boxes that you can open by clicking on that plus sign and explore. There's nothing in Moodle 2 videos yet, I've yet to post them. Your list of courses there, and in fact all the courses that are available if I click on there, should come up here. But I'll just go back to the view we had previously. So, what does this structure look like? The imp most important thing is this central box here. And if we scroll down it, you'll see that there are weekly boxes going all the way through. to week 18, January the 16th, when your assignment is due. So how can we make more sense of this? Let's go back into our PowerPoint. And see. I'll just click on to the next slide. <clears throat> Every week you will see or have released to you a section on Moodle that always looks roughly like this. We have the title of the week here, a description of what you'll be doing. This is week one. It reminds you to revisit Moodle frequently. Ideally that will be every day, but I've realize you've got lots of other stuff on so it'll be a couple of times a week. Resources are added to the Moodle area every Wednesday evening after our sessions together and also the, the next week's Moodle material becomes available to you and each week you've got three areas. You've got to start by looking at a weekly meditation, a weekly quote from the literature of person-centered practice which I'd like you to think about during the week. And perhaps there's also other information. This sign here is the sign for a PDF file, and if you click on these links in Moodle, they will take you to that PDF file that you can download. So that's an introduction. Then it says um, there may be directed learning activities. This is a full-time course. So remember when you come to class on a Wednesday, that's really the tip on the iceberg. Uh, it relies on you having done some reading, having done some thinking, having done some practice in that intervening week, the week between courses. Um, here it says review your selected readings by viewing the reading guide. 
and there's a link to the reading guide. Each week I've described the various readings that are available to you um, to help you make a choice of one or two articles that you're going to have a look at and learn from. You may sometimes find other links here to videos or to other resources um, and they're designed to enrich your learning. And finally, sometimes there are things that this is a file, um, things that come up either before or after the session which summarize what we did in the session or make other things available to you. So that's the, um, the structure. Each week, every week for the next year in person-centered practice, I've kept to this same sort of structure. If we take a slightly wider view of this week, you'll notice that at the top in Moodle is the week where you are, welcome your first week here, and then the upcoming week, week two, your second week at UCBC. So you can click on that link to go forward to week two, you can click on that link to go back to week one. And these breadcrumbs, they're called, are repeated here too. So again, I'm going to come out of that PowerPoint and go...